the king of the Jere kingdom, his royal majesty Udure I, has called on President Muhammad Ubuari for the immediate sacking of the minister of Niger Delta, Obong Goswil Akbabio. The monarch made the call during a media session in his palace in Jeseta and highlighted several failings of the Akbabio led administration on project executions, a blight that the Ijere people are victims of. The monarch went on to analyze various feed NDDC projects in Nigeria. Despite the kingdom housing several oil wells that helped sustain the Nigerian economy. Obon Goswi, Obot Akbabiu, has done a lot of damage to the region of the producing communities. And as a result of that, I have no hesitation to tell Mr. President to sack the Honorable Minister of the Niger Delta, Obong Goswil Obot Akbabiu, now. And looking details into what he has done in the past three years, we have enough reason to believe that the commonwealth of the people of the Niger Delta is what individuals are squandering now, and we cannot continue on that path. If you recall, the NDDC at 2000 has no place for sole administrator or interim management committee. We left the stage of interim management committee to the stage of sole administrator. And you are all well aware that distinguished Nigerians, notable sons and daughters of the oil producing communities were nominated by Mr. President. They were screened and they were confirmed by the National Assembly. It behoves on Mr. President to live up to his constitutional responsibility by inaugurating the already screened and confirmed board of the NDDC under the chairmanship of His Excellency Dr. Pius Igberamo Dubu and the MDship of Olorogun Bernard Okumagba. I have no hesitation to tell my people there are so many projects that are domiciled in the Nigeria Kingdom that ought to be ongoing in the past four years of this very, very notorious dance of individual. I call it notorious because what is happening in the NDDC today is a shame. As we speak, there are notable projects that are supposed to be ongoing in the Kingdom of Nigeria, a major oil and gas producing kingdom in the Niger Delta, and nothing is happening. If you take a drive from here, between Okweka and Ajawini, there is an ongoing NDC project there that is abandoned. If you take a drive from here, between Ugbomoja and Ovadi, there is an ongoing NDC project that is abandoned. If you take a drive, from Osogo to Romudiare, a major oil producing community. There's an ongoing project of NDDC that is abandoned. If you go to the third uh, sub clan of Ijere called Boboroku, from Boboroku to Agalokbe, there is a major project of the NDDC that is ongoing, that is abandoned. And in the first of these, I cannot preside over a kingdom where such projects are all abandoned, and I will go to one corner and be clapping for one individual. I call on the authorities of the NDDC to, as a matter of urgency, return to those sites and commence work. Two, I also call on Mr. President to, as a matter of urgency, inaugurate the board of the NDDC as screened and confirmed by the National Assembly. And thirdly, we want to ask that no matter how small any fund misappropriated under the agency of NDDC should be accounted for. The forensic audit that they said they did, if actually they did, it is time to publish the report. Whoever that is found to be culpable, that has contributed to the sorry state of the current NDDC, government should not shy away from its responsibility. Such person should be prosecuted. In Jesse Town, you're watching Rero TV, and I am Akbar Rero Henry Akbos.